Hello and a very warm welcome to DD Sports. You're watching Crick Live. I'm Frank Rausen Pereira. We are in the midst of an exhilarating series between India and England. We've had a fantastic test series and an even better T20 international series as well, where we saw a lot of back and forth between the two teams. And finally, India came up on top, winning the series 3-2 in the T20s. We are now moving on to the One Day Internationals, but before we talk about that, we'll talk about so many other aspects here on Crick Live about the opening partnership or the opening batsman of the Indian team, as well as we'll look back at what we've seen thus far in the series. And to do that, I have with me on the program today on Crick Live, Ajay Ratra, former Indian cricketer, as well as Munish Jolly, former cricketer and uh, sports expert right now. Thank you, both of you gentlemen, for joining me on Crick Live. Pleasure. And Thank let's you, talk about the India-England series. But before that, we do that, let me remind you to follow COVID-appropriate behavior because the second wave is upon us. There are several thousand cases that are being reported on a daily basis. And right now, the vaccines are here, but it is still left up to all of us to follow COVID-appropriate behavior. Just do three simple things, and we can ensure that we avoid the pandemic. That is, wear a mask while ever you're stepping outside. Try and wash your hands and face as regularly as possible, and maintain physical distancing. These simple steps are all that it takes to fight the COVID-19 pandemic. All right, let's talk cricket now. Uh, Ajay Ratra, uh, how would you look back at the series? Kaisa raha? The test matches, pehle uske baad, T20 internationals, five matches khele te, aur bohati romanchak uh, series tha wo, T20 I ka. Yes, uh, definitely. And the test cricket, which we have won 3-1, I will say that the first match was very hard. And after that, the Indian team had a lot of good luck. And the England had a lot of good luck in the test series. If we talk about T20, I think T20 was a very good series. And both teams had a very good competitive cricket. And after the next match, if you look at the last match, we had four matches, two all. इंडिया और इंग्लैंड और वहाँ से इंडियन टीम ने जीता तो और 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 ओवरऑल सीरीज की बात करें तो कुछ लो स्कोरिंग मैच रहे जब पिच उतना फेवर नहीं कर रही थी बैट्समैन को बट बाद में जैसे पिच बेटर मिली ब्लैक सोइल पे मैचेस खेले गए वहाँ पर और ज़्यादा बेहतर क्रिकेट स्पेशली बैट्समैन के लिए देखने को मिली ऑल एंड ऑल मैं कहूँगा कि बहुत अच्छी सीरीज रही टी ट्वेंटी दोनों टीम में बहुत अच्छी खेली और यहाँ श्रेय भारतीय टीम को देना पड़ेगा जिस तरह से भारतीय टीम ने सीरीज जीती एब्सोल्यूटली ऑल राइट सो बिफोर वी टॉक अबाउट द सीरीज as a whole, Munish, let's also talk about uh, the Indian batsmen and let's talk. Uh, well, let's start with the top, number one and number two. Mm, you know, we saw a little bit of shuffling and reshuffling really as far as the batting order was concerned and the opening partners uh, were concerned. But right now, uh, Virat Kohli and Rohit Sharma, what do you make of them? What do you what, do you believe that that is the best way we need to go forward? You see, uh, before we come with any combination in the media. Uh, we must also do a lot of homework. Look at Shikhar Dhawan. He's been a consistent opener in ODIs, right? And when we are focusing on the ODIs, no need to shuffle the opening order. You don't want Rahul, who's establishing himself at number five, to come at, you know, number one or two and then open with what Rohit Sharma. They haven't opened together for, a, for you know, for many matches in one day. Maybe in T20s. Maybe they've, you know, they've, you've seen them a lot. But speaking about Dhawan and Rohit Sharma's combination, in dono ka jo combination hai, bahut time se chal raha और अगर हम देखें कि पिछली जो ऑस्ट्रेलिया की जो सीरीज हुई उसमें भी हमने एक चीज देखी कि शिखर धवन वाज ओपनिंग एंड ही हैड डिफरेंट पार्टनर्स ही हैड मयंक अग्रवाल एंड देन ऑल ऑफ अ सडन यू नो ही हैड अ डिफरेंट पार्टनर शुभमान गिल केम इन तो ओपनिंग में इतना रीशफलिंग हम लोग जो सोच रहे हैं वो नहीं होना चाहिए इट्स नॉट गुड फॉर द टीम रोहित एंड धवन शेयर फोर्टी सिक्स ओडीआई हंड्रेड्स अमंग्स देम रोहित ट्वेंटी नाइन ही गॉट सेवेंटीन हंड्रेड्स सो यू गॉट एक्सपीरियंस विद यू प्लस बोथ ऑफ देम इनफैक्ट थ्री ऑफ देम दे एवरेज मोर देन फोर्टी फाइव so it's it shouldn't be for me it shouldn't be a hue and cry ki kisko khilaye kisko nahi khilaye but a left or right hand combination mere hisab se zarur hona chahiye and shikhar dhawan especially when he played the vijay hazare jo recently hua ajay is agreeing with me i'm glad he he got 150 and that's that's a huge score in one days so agar wo one days mein thoda comfortable hai test him out it's a combination that has worked so try and stick with it but then there are some young turks lurking in the background who need to get their bit and get their due as well they've performed extremely well in first class cricket we'll talk about that ajay in just a bit but before that let's listen in to what virat kohli had to say 
Yes, there are a couple of things that internally we have discussed that we want to keep an eye on. As far as the opening combination is concerned, yeah, Shikhar and Rohit will will definitely start. Uh, when it comes to one-day cricket, I don't think there's there's any issues or doubts over um, you know, Rohit or Shikhar opening together. Uh, and they've been amazing for us in the past few years. So, yes, we're going to start with that and other factors... It'll be interesting because there are there are a few younger players who are getting an opportunity um, in the one-day setup for the first time. So I'm I'm really keen to see how they go about executing their skills against a, a very very strong England side. Uh, well, firstly, the combination that plays on the field, the selectors don't, don't have any uh, role to play in that. Just how you know the the management doesn't have any role in selection. Um, secondly. As Rohit mentioned, it was it was a strategic move, but yes, we did enjoy batting with each other. We did enjoy that partnership, and we saw the effects of uh, us batting together and knowing that we have twenty overs to play. What it can do to an opposition, so um, it's not a guarantee that this is going to be continued in future. Uh, but as I said, I'm going to open in the IPL to keep all options open. I need to. I, I batted at four. I batted at three. Now I want to go back into you know understanding my role as an opener as well, which I've done successfully in the past in T20 cricket, so that I provide an option to open up a slot for someone like Surya who's playing the way he is at the moment. And if he can continue like that, then you know I should be ready to play any kind of role uh, that the team requires me to. Um, so yeah, that, that's all that that is to it right now, and we will have a conversation about this. Closer to the World Cup when we get there. Right now we have ODI cricket and then IPL to follow. So it'll be interesting to see how I go about things as an opener in the IPL also first. And then this conversation can be resumed later. Okay, Virat Kohli, they're very clear as far as whom he wants to open in the one-day international series. He wants, uh, you know, Shikhar Dhawan and Rohit Sharma to open because that's a partnership that has worked and has done well in the past. Something that Munish was also referring to and being reiterated there by Virat Kohli. Ajay Ratra, uh, you know, the same question that I was talking about. Let's also talk about all those youngsters who are waiting in the background, trying to get their mark, trying to make their mark in the Indian team, just waiting for that one opportunity. And there are many such names. Ishan Kishan has done a very good performance in T20. And there are many people who want to come and who want to come and fill in those shoes of Shikhar Dhawan and Rohit Sharma. So what do we do in this kind of situation? Mein kya जी, I think भारतीय टीम की बात करें तो फोटे यही है अभी कि आपके पास बेंच स्ट्रेंथ बहुत अच्छी है और आपके पास यंग प्लेयर जो है काफी कंसिस्टेंट बेसिस पे अच्छे आ रहे हैं। If you talk about इशान किशन डेब्यू मैच में एक ऐसी इनिंग खेली मैन ऑफ़ द मैच रहे उसके बाद सूर्य कुमार यादव जो उनकी फर्स्ट इंटरनेशनल इनिंग थी उसमें वो मैन ऑफ़ द मैच रहे और 50 बनाया टीम को मैच जिताया तो मुझे लगता है कि यही एक इस टीम को खास बनाती है एंड इस वनडे सीरीज में भी जिस तरह से कुराल पांड्या आए हैं अभी स्क्वाड का हिस्सा है और सूर्य कुमार यादव भी इस इस टीम का हिस्सा है तो मुझे लगता है कि शुरुआत में शायद उनको थोड़ी सी वेट करनी पड़े क्योंकि शिखर धवन वनडे में वापसी करेंगे टी ट्वेंटी में उनको ज़्यादा मौका नहीं मिला था और वनडे में उनका बहुत अच्छा रिकॉर्ड भी रहा है तो मुझे लगता है थोड़ी सी उनको वेट करनी पड़ सकती है और ये सीरीज भी तीन मैचेस की है बहुत लंबी नहीं है बट वी होप समेयर अगर भारतीय टीम अच्छी सिचुएशन में है तो कहीं ना कहीं उनको भी सीरीज में मौका मिले एब्सोल्यूटली एंड यू नो टेकिंग दिस पर्टिकुलर एस्पेक्ट फॉरवर्ड यू नो लेट्स Talk about the number three as well. So that is, of course, cemented. We have Captain Kohli, Captain, uh, you know, who's going to uh, bat at that particular position. But what after that? You know, are we going to see a little bit of uh, reshuffling of the order, or do you believe that we have to go with the tried and tested order? You know, this is very interesting. Uh, you know, the batting order after the opening batsman for India. Number three, Virat Kohli. Four, Shreya Sayer was coming. So they've got a fixed batting order, mind you. You know what, Frank? They haven't tested anybody in these, uh, you know, in the one-day format at number three, four, five, and six because it's fixed. Shreya Sayer comes in and followed by Rahul and then Hardik Pandya. So they they kind of you know the top order then shifts that you know the responsibility to the middle order. It's for me it's very interesting you know because after Pandya what happens? You know we've seen the top three players you know they did very well in the one days but agar hum T20 ki baat karein toh it was a major concern until you saw the last T20. लेकिन मेरे हिसाब से एक साइड को एक प्लेयर और डेवलप करना चाहिए जड्डू वॉज प्लेइंग रविंद्र जडेजा आफ्टर पांड्या ही इज नॉट इन दी स्कॉड ही इज रिकवरिंग नाउ आई फील दैट शरदुल ठाकुर शुड कम इन एंड बैकअप यू नो एज एन ऑलराउंडर यू शुड यू शुड बिल्ड अप दैट प्लेयर 
There's Virat. Washington Sundar as well. Washington Sundar, but then you want you you've seen Shardul Thakur coming in and bowling those you know slower ones, and you know he's a typical white ball bowler. So you want him to play those white ball games. But coming back to number four, you know Shreya Sayer, they've given him that liberty. Australia maybe हमने देखा कि उसको बहुत मौके दिए गए. अब बात करते हैं हम नंबर पांच की क्योंकि इन तो हम इसलिए ज़्यादा बात नहीं करेंगे कैप्टन को लिए अब आप वहाँ पे अपनी अपनी जो नंबर चार पाँच और छः है आप उसको बहुत स्ट्रॉन्ग बनाओगे क्योंकि वन डे एयर में आई होप अजय आप अग्री करते हो कि वन डे एयर में नंबर चार पाँच और छः ये सॉलिड होने बहुत ज़रूरी हैं एक टीम के लिए क्योंकि पचास ओवर का फॉर्मेट है और अगर ओपनर अच्छा स्टार्ट देते हैं तो आप जो एवरेज है अगर सात रन या छः रन पर ओवर चल रही है तो आप उसको आठ नौ हो सकता है कि उससे ज़्यादा भी ले जाना चाहेंगे so i think they haven't touched 4 5 6 and they're going to stick with that absolutely we'll talk about uh, hardik pandya as well in just a bit because he is now bowling all his quota of overs whether he can do that in the one day internationals as well that is something that we'll have to wait and see how well his fitness will hold up in the meantime let's take a look at how indian openers have performed in this graphic indian openers against england in odis overall rohit sharma has played 13 matches scored 454 runs the highest of 137 two centuries shikhar dhawan 12 matches 357 runs 97 is his highest and no centuries of course kl rahul has played only the six matches has scored only 33 runs highest score of 11 clearly uh, struggling against england and shubham gill of course is yet to play against the english opponent so something that we've spoken about in the program already reiterated as well that this is a tried and tested opening partnership we should not try and tinker too much right now and probably go with that but let's talk about another aspect as well ajay ratra you know let's not forget there is no major odi series any time you know around the corner the next big one is of course in 2022 there is nothing in between there's a whole year of 2020 internationals there's the test finals as well that we are looking at so uh, and of course the ipl in between so should is this the time to experiment because this odi series that we are playing against england right now is really inconsequential from that perspective because there is no big odi tournament uh, see if we talk about the um, major major tournaments world cup jo hai wo 2023 mein hai means 2 saal hai one day world cup ke liye aur uske pehle do t20 world cup hai agle do saalon mein ek to isi saal ke end mein aur ek aur t20 world cup hai तो टीम का ज़्यादा फोकस उस पर है बट स्टिल आई फील कि अगर आप इंटरनेशनल सीरीज़ कोई वनडे इंटरनेशनल सीरीज़ है वर्ल्ड कप बाद में भी है स्टिल उसकी पूरी इंपॉर्टेंस रहनी रहनी चाहिए क्योंकि ये कंट्री को आप रिप्रेजेंट कर रहे हैं और जब आप कंट्री के लिए खेल रहे हैं तो एवरी मैच इज वेरी मच इंपॉर्टेंट और जब क्लोज क्लोज पहुँचेंगे टी ट्वेंटी वर्ल्ड वर्ल्ड कप के लिए तो मुझे लगता है कि जो बोर्ड कोशिश कर रही है दो सीरीज़ अगेंस्ट न्यूजीलैंड और साउथ अफ्रीका वो बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट हो जाएगा आ, कि आ, क्योंकि अगर अभी हम एक सीरीज खत्म कर रहे हैं उसके बाद कोई सीरीज नहीं मिली टी ट्वेंटी वर्ल्ड कप के पहले तो कहीं ना कहीं वो बोर्ड जो कोशिश कर रही है उसको जरूर वो सीरीज ऑर्गेनाइज करनी चाहिए बिल्कुल बिल्कुल लेट्स गो बैक टू अंट आई वाज मेकिंग अर्लियर एंड टेक दैट पर्टिकुलर एस्पेक्ट फॉरवर्ड मनीष ऑफ हार्दिक पांड्या ना हाउ इम्पोर्टेंट इज अ फिट हार्दिक पांड्या फॉर टीम इंडिया बिकॉज ही ब्रिंग्स इट ऑल टू द फील्ड बीट बॉलिंग बीट बैटिंग एंड बीट फील्डिंग एज वेल एंड दैट्स द काइंड ऑफ ऑलराउंड Uh, world cricket needs and that's the kind of all rounder that indian cricket reads right needs absolutely. right now isn't it absolutely you know good point made there because uh, i reckon that you know you want some players like them you know if it's england you want to watch ben stokes if it's india you want to watch hardik pandya so you know he's developing him, himself to you know uh, to a very very important uh, you know a player in the team the more important part is his bowling you know if it doesn't bowl you can't make hardik pandya bat you know in in many games because you want to you know you want an all rounder who can come in and bowl those you know one change balls or maybe you know he can share the new ball but talking about hardik pandya at the moment he's worked really hard on his fitness what concerns me if frank is that you need to you know deal with hardik pandya more sensibly you will have to manage his load as that terminology goes load management for hardik pandya it's very important if you want him to play the t20s followed by odis you're actually burdening him with with too much of stress when the ipl comes you know he's going to play all the games for his franchise he can't miss one so somebody has to do that load management for him eventually he's going to play for india eventually you want hardik pandya to perform for india rather than any franchise great player great timer of the ball can tear any bowling uh, attack apart but then i feel that hardik pandya without him india will suffer in the middle order you know taking this point forward ajay you know uh, i think it was in the last match or last week sometime when virat kohli came out and said that he is very happy that hardik pandya has committed himself 
to play for the Indian team and is going to give it his all for the next year, year and a half. But, that, but does that also mean that he's going to play all three formats of the game, something that Munish was pointing out? Isn't it then left up to the team management and the support staff to try and manage his load because of the kind of player he is? He puts in too much of an effort on the field. Uh, I think yes. Uh, if you talk about any format, uh, Hardik, in any format, there are a lot of things that are beneficial and useful. Hai, and especially the way he bats, I mean, number 6 is an ideal position for the strike rate. And when he was in the series, he was not playing the game. So, I think that uh, uh, before that, I am talking about कि टीम के लिए उतने यूजफुल शायद ना हो बट इनके आने से अगर ये गेंदबाजी करते हैं टीम का बैलेंस बहुत अच्छा हो जाता है विच मींस यू कैन हैव फाइव प्रॉपर बैट्समैन देन हार्दिक और एक और बॉलिंग ऑलराउंडर आप टीम में अगर है जैसे इन्होंने बात किया मनीष ने कि शार्दुल ठाकुर एक ऑप्शन हो सकती है उसके अलावा अगर वॉशिंगटन सुंदर या कुणाल पांड्या इन दोनों में अगर एक खेलता है तो वो इसके बाद बैटिंग कर सकते हैं सात और शार्दुल अगर आठ पे हैं तो आई थिंक इससे टीम का बैलेंस बहुत अच्छा हो जाता है एंड डेफिनेटली इंजरी के बाद तो आपको अपनी बॉडी का ध्यान रखना बहुत जरूरी हो जाता है कि आप कितना ट्रेनिंग करते हैं कितने मैचेस खेलते हैं और आई एम श्योर कि इंडियन टीम मैनेजमेंट जो है इस पे नजर बनाए हुए और बनाए रखेंगे और विराट ने ऑलरेडी कहा है कि ये हर फॉर्मेट में गेंदबाजी भी पूरी करेंगे तो इसलिए बहुत क्रूशल है इनका टीम के लिए फिट रहना जस्ट वेरी वेरी क्विकली फ्रैंक यू नो यू वॉन्ट समबडी हु टेक्स अ टीम फ्रॉम टू हंड्रेड टू बी ऑन थ्री हंड्रेड if the top 3 batsmen or the top 4 batsmen you know they bat well they take you beyond 200 and in the remaining you know 12 13 overs or 14 overs or say 15 overs for max if you want somebody to you know take the team beyond 300 i see only one person who can do that and that is hardik pandya and cricket has changed you know leaps and bounds over the years we've seen now batsmen scoring 100 runs in 6 overs and that's what we've seen over the last 2 or 3 years ever since the ipl has come into play so we need someone like that to do that and take us across uh, you know past the line yeah and you see his records i mean he got 290s in the recent uh, you know concluded australian series why nabir run unhone banaye last mein unhone almost kitne 150 run ki partnership jaddu ke sath ki to wo hum logo ne ek bahut bada score jo hai wo chase bhi kar diya to isliye main keh raha hu ki wo jo ek last ke jo aapke 14 15 over hote hai na usme you want somebody who can take you to somewhere Around 120, 130 runs in those 15, 16 overs. He's a fit man. चलिए अजय बाकी bowlers की बात करें. तो what do you think should be our ideal combination? Really, you know, we've seen a lot of mix and match in the bowling department as well. A uh, lot of bowlers for the management and the captain to choose from as well. जी और आई थिंक जिस तरह से टी ट्वेंटी में मुझे लगता है कि भुवनेश्वर ने अच्छी गेंदबाजी की और शार्दुल ठाकुर जिन्होंने स्लोअर बॉल का बहुत अच्छा इस्तेमाल किया और थ्रू आउट टूर्नामेंट क्रूशल टाइम पे जब विकेट चाहिए थे वो विकेट्स निकाल के दिए मुझे लगता है वो दो गेंदबाज से शुरुआत कर सकते हैं प्लस स्पिनर्स में चहल की यहाँ वापसी होना मुझे लगता है कि टीम के लिए अच्छा फैक्टर होगी कि चहल होंगे और उनके साथ एक और स्पिनर मे बी मे बी वॉशिंगटन सुंदर या फिर कुणाल पांड्या को भी शायद जगह मिल सकती है ये डिपेंड करेगा टीम मैनेजमेंट पे और नए गेंदबाजों में अगर बात करें तो नटराजन एक ऑप्शन है प्रसिद्ध कृष्णा भी इस स्क्वाड में शामिल हैं और मुझे लगता है कि इनमें से किसी एक को भी आज जगह मिल सकती है बिल्कुल Let's take a look at some uh, aspects or some some interesting tweets that we saw as far as the India England uh, series is concerned to bring them up right now trust Vira, uh, Virender Sehwag to do something like this he's talking about the opening partnership he says uh, what a deadly combination seeing Rohit and Virat opening we may not see that in today's match of course that's something that Virat Kohli has very categorically spoken about but he's talking about the partnership as a whole This is Virender Sehwag, of course. Yes, yes, Munish. And that white thing wasn't curd; it was a rubbery, by the way. Yes, it's a great rubbery, combination. Yes, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. And here you have it: Rama and <laughs> Ram, Lakshman, Cricket, Rohit, and Virat. Two favorite uh, duos of all time, of course. This was tweeted as well by someone else, and I think there was a tweet from Wasim Jafar too, who spoke about how uh, the perfect trend. doesn't exist is what he is talking about rohit and virat i think he means he means does exist so that is something that and xavier he's been quite popular of late on social media on whatsapp we keep seeing his messages as well those who said there's a rift between virat kohli and rohit sharma should take a look at this is what he is talking about as well so some interesting and some funny tweets <laughs> coming out as far as uh, the one uh, the uh, series between india and england is concerned so quite a few interesting aspects there that were being brought out as well it's all good it's all fun and games at the end of the day isn't it ajay 
So, see, uh, uh, log bhi itne, matlab, they are so much uh, interested in this, uh, this partnership or uh, the way they have batted in the last T20 match or uh, both have really played well. Or if you see their, uh, their partnership, uh, I think jahan Rohit hits laga rahe the, wahi, uh, Virat ne sheet anchor role ka ro, uh, part play kiya unhone. And jab uh, vir, uh, Rohit out ho gaya, to uske baad Virat ne wo take over kiya aur last tak khele. I think yehi ek uh, partnership ki khas baat hai. But since abhi hum one day mein hai, 50 over ka match hai, to I think number three hi Virat Kohli ke liye yahan acha rahega. Aur Shikhar ne, kyunki off lately uh, jo hai acha kiya one day cricket mein, to I think unko bhi maqam milna chahiye. Bilkul. You know, uh, there has been a lot of talk in the media, there has been a lot of talk in social media as well, that all may not be very well between Virat Kohli and Rohit mm-hmm. Sharma. And that's why we've seen some former Indian cricketers coming out in support of both these present cricketers, the captain and the vice captain, isn't it, Manish? You know, um, let me take it in a you know lighter mode mm-hmm. only. Because we have done a lot of serious things about the rift. Ke bare mein. So, when you saw the serial on television, you should have a soap opera. So, you know, a rift should start. But they are good pals. If they are not going to be able to do it, they will open it. So, they will open it. So, they will open it. So, they will open it. Because it happens. You know? and, and team and team and and team passer is not going to be able to do it. Team passer is not going to be able to do it. If they are not going to be able to do it, they will be able to do it. So, 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 they will be able to Ki Rohit or Virat, you know, sometimes there are other circumstances where, you know, they may be carrying some stress because of some other reasons. And, you know, in social media, mein it's, it's become a trend that there's something wrong, there's something wrong, there's something wrong, there's something wrong, there's something wrong. So, let's, let's focus on that. But I think, you know, they're great pals, they complement each other and they know their records speak about themselves and they back each other very well. Ji, Ajay. Definitely, yes. If you see, I think there is a difference of opinion in every place. And definitely, there is a difference in the batting style. If you do a captainship, like in Virat's absence, Rohit's captainship, then there is a different style. So, they get respect in the team. And if you see, their partnership, or even Virat's captainship, Rohit's performance, and vice versa. And you will see that in the previous series, Virat was going every now and down then to Rohit for, for taking suggestions. So, I think that he shows these things that they have a good combination, a good relation, I would say, and they play for the team. Ke liye hai. And Munish, quick final thoughts before I wind up. Well, if it's about Virat and Rohit, hmm. I would just say that, you know, Virat also complements Rohit's captaincy. So, tomorrow, if Rohit Sharma becomes the captain of the white ball cricket, you think they won't be pally together? I think let's let's get over all this and then, you know, two matured cricketers, they're playing for the country, they play for the tricolour and they'll do well. They're professionals playing for the country. Let's focus on the positives and keep aside all the negatives is what the panelists are suggesting. Ajay Ratra and Munish Jolly, thank you so much for joining Pleasure. me on Pleasure Brick Life. Life. And before I wind up, a few announcements to make. Uh, one, of course, is Doordarshan ki free digital service, DD Free Dish. Jo 108 TV channel or 50 se bhi zyada radio channel bina kisi masik shulk ke uplab karata hai. That is DD Free Dish right now. And also, another announcement to make. Prasar Bharti's app, News On Air, available on Android and iOS is one-stop shop for news, entertainment, educational and sports content. It has over 200 live radio stations and TV channels. And finally, of course, Prasar Bharti Sports YouTube channel, your one-stop destination for live action, news, views, analysis and unique archival sports properties which takes you down memory lane.